and welcome along to a new video and in this video today I'm going to talk to you about my 4k collection my complete 4k collection although I probably won't be able to get through them all today in this video anyway I'm going to keep going until I get about the 20 minute mark and then I'll leave the next bit for another part so the only disclaimer I've got to say about these films is I haven't watched them all but I have probably when I've got them I have checked them out so I've checked them out certain places to get a bit of a flavor of them and if they are trash i will say although i don't think any of them are trash although i haven't got so if the worst film ever is supposed to be terminator 2 and i am so tempted to get terminator 2 just to see how trashy it is isn't that mad but anyway i'm getting off point so these as you if you looked on my shelves it's on right on the top shelves these uh, 4k uh, editions if you looked across the shelves you would see this is how you would see them stood in there I do want to do I did want to do them the only thing I wanted to do was have them in alphabetical order because a bit of an OCD thing and I wanted to get a slip case on them now 99% of the time that happened but it didn't happen on some of them and I'll show you and I'll tell you why about that way down the line because I don't think I think all of these have got slip covers so yes so enough of me waffling I will now um, have a look through these these movies and the only thing I can do with them sometimes they're a little bit out of um, although this will be a bit later on I would imagine they're a little bit out of alphabetical order because some of the bigger ones don't fit on the second shelf and also if there's one that should be a bit further along because it's the tallest of it it'll be first so it doesn't go along and then go up like that because that's another OCD thing I want everything to be about as uniform as you can get anyway so yes, so the first title is actually the first title I ever bought, personally bought, although when I got my play I did get one free with it. Um, this one is the first one I bought and I bought it on a trip to uh, CEX, but this was in Edinburgh. Me and my wife went for a trip last year to Edinburgh, I had a great time there because I love Edinburgh, it's a great city. Um, just everything about it was great, the hotel, the, the scenery, the places you could go to, the, the sites you could see, the, the shopping everything's great so uh, here we are two minutes in I haven't even shown you a 4k yet I'm going to change that so my first one I got from CX from eight for eight pound was the dark knight and I'm gonna what is this um is this a media book um I think it is I always uh, get a little bit confused you know for these uh, different editions but I'm gonna say dark knight media book I did want the whole lot of them although I've never found another one in CX I don't understand why this was eight pound. I picked it up tentatively, thinking it looked like someone had been ice skating on it on the discs, and the discs were perfect. And also the the, cop, the thing itself was not ripped to bits as sometimes it usually gets. I don't want to take the stickers off because I don't want it this. It's got a very soft touch to it. I don't want to mess this up. But initially, when I saw this, it did look really good. Um, <clears throat> I am going to watch it. I'm going to watch all of Batman's again. But um, it's just getting around to it. It's on my to do list anyway. First one. Batman Dark Knight, although you can get it in a regular case. Uh, and the next one is another kind of special edition as well. And it is uh, 2001. I have watched this one and it looks absolutely brilliant. I love this uh, this film. Now, I don't know if I really appreciated it back in the day and when I used to watch it, I didn't really get into it, I get through it. But because this was in 4K and the picture was so gorgeous, I decided to give it put a couple hours away and just sat there and watched it and I did really enjoy it plus it's got everything you could want from a special edition I think most films like this although I think they're removable as well but sometimes I don't really want to take them off in case it uh, wrecks the sort of sheen on here I could actually I'm feeling them they could come off but I don't know if I want to go that far I don't want to um, and say with the eight no the HDR is in, is in the book the, the the case should I say so yeah 2001 that's a great film highly recommended that one the next one is a film that I never ever thought I would buy never even watch I got it on blu-ray I liked it that no I was sort on sky movies I liked it that much that I got it on blu-ray and when the 4k came out I thought I'll have to have that and it's a star that the star is born the film itself for me is really Lady Gaga is the best thing about this film she's amazing in this film and it's not a film that's it's any way that I would have hunted out but for some reason I connected with this film although my wife laughs at me every time I keep speaking about the star is born she hasn't watched it she won't watch it she doesn't know what she's missing that's all I'm saying if you've seen this film it's a great film mainly down to the fact that 
Lady Gaga is that good in this film. It's just amazing the film. I've watched it and I think the picture quality is really good. I do think it's better than the Blu-ray, but not too much. But the sound quality, the Dolby Atmos seems to be much better on the on the 4K than the Blu-ray. The next one is a, <coughs> excuse me, be all the dust off then, is another one that uh, was, when I first went into buying 4Ks, I thought there's, there was a lot of titles. I thought I have to get this title, i.e., you know 2001 this is another one that just had to be bought it is alien i haven't watched it yet even though i bought it probably over a year ago uh, i do want to watch it i have checked it out the dark scenes look phenomenal um, it's one of my favorite well it is my favorite alien film although aliens is close second but i do prefer alien and it's on my massive to watch list of 4ks i will get around to it but i do urge people to check this out because it does look for me it looks and this is all these are all my personal opinions. It does look amazing to me. Then I got, I was in Poundland. I saw for two pound this film and I watched it because me and my wife would do like, I think we've got some up there of these sort of like, um, I'm gonna say more like children's films, but they've got like CGI in them, which we, we really like. We'd watch loads of them on Sky movies. I don't know why we like them, we just like them for what they are. And uh, I had a good time with this for two pounds. So I thought, right, when I see this cheap, I will get it on 4K. Angry Birds, believe it or not. I gave my Blu-ray to a friend's daughter and she loves she loves the film, which is great. Um, we just thought it was a good film. Um, it was a good laugh and it does look stunning in 4K because it's a very bright film. On the back of that, I had to send away for Angry Birds 2 because I heard that it had the... HDR and an, an IMAX enhanced picture quality and I've got to admit it is much better than Angry Birds uh, picture wise and you can't get this in, in England so I had, to, um, I had to import it I paid about £18 for it but it was worth it because the picture quality is, is really good and these films are very watchable as well believe it or not coming from someone who loves the sickest horror films ever in, invented in the world another one I got I was quite interested in this because I have a large interest in robots in movies uh, and it always the idols always want to navigate to them films and it's Alita Battle Angel now this film here me and my wife watched it and we're blown away the picture quality is amazing on it and um, obviously it's a new film so it should be but for some reason the the actual effects on the robot girl Alita uh, are just stunning the face the, the everything it's so watchable and we hope that there is some form of sequel come out to this film as uh, we had a really good time with it. And to be honest, I can't wait to watch it again. Although it took a lot of tracking down with its slip cover. It's one of these ones that Morrison said it's got in when you go at the counter, they say, no, I've got that one. So yeah, but it's for me, it's one of these, these are essential buys if you want some, you know, a really stunning picture quality. And that's got a really excellent picture quality. Now this one here, I saw it on Sky Movies and I was quite interested to see what it was like but not that much interested in it but I saw the picture quality on Sky Movies just looked that bright and colourful and vivid that I thought that would look amazing on 4K and as soon as it came down to a reasonable price I got Aquaman. It's a decent film, it's not bad at all, I did enjoy it and um, for me it's, I wouldn't go in a bundle on it that it's the best film ever made, of course it's not but in the DC universe, it's one of the more watchable films. And also the picture quality in here is so colorful and the colors on it really just stand out. It's just got to be seen to believe. Although I haven't watched it on the 4K disc yet, but I would imagine, and I've popped it in, had a look at it. The pictures, on, the picture quality on here was better than this, the Sky Movie ones because obviously the bit rate on here is coming down at a faster, faster bit rate, nearly a hundred. Um, megabytes per second is that is that the right terminology for that um but anyway it was coming down at a really high bit rate and um yes if you like colorful films this is ultra colorful now this next one was the one that i wanted to upgrade from blu-ray because i did like the film and i thought well this was this was another one that's quite cheap or cheaper two for 30 pound so i thought i'll get that one it's on my list and it's american psycho now it, it is better than the 2k but it's not much better. I was quite, I was going to say, a little bit disappointed by the picture quality. Some of the scenes are very sharp and some of the scenes just aren't that sharp. But I did want to get the upgrade to it. But 
it's not a huge upgrade it's not one that you're going to put on as a demo disc anyway now this one here was another one i'd seen on sky moves and i really enjoyed it and i always like um, the editing done on these type of films and it's uh, baby driver now this film here is very watchable it's uh, got some great set pieces and it. it's got some great music in it as well some good car chases obviously and uh, i just like this film and i hope that edgar wright makes more films like this or with this sort of uh, fast-paced editing which he's really famous for and he's, he's got a good eye for that and to me that's what makes this film stand out from the crowd the picture quality in here is quite good as well but some of these fil these films here you know when you get one that's a pure 4k disc some of them aren't pure 4k discs i don't think american psycho is i don't think baby driver is so that might make it a bit less on the it could have been better if they went back and re remastered it but i don't think they would bother because they put it out and they just think well that's good that's that's something for a different um a different video to say why they didn't upgrade it you know they took the 2k and upgraded all that type of thing but uh saying that it still looks really nice the colors especially the cars look really bright which is what you want at the end of the day so the next one here was a one when it came out it was very interested in getting it because i haven't i've had these before but i haven't had them for a long time so i thought it's worth an upgrade so i just done went straight out and got these immediately and it's this one is the 1989 batman which me and my wife saw at the cinema actually and interestingly enough when we came back to our car skipping back to our car at the night time saying wow i didn't think that a movie a comic movie could be so good you know so dark and so um different from the usual batman that was in 1966 as we flounced back to our car we were greeted with a 32 pound um parking fine because we parked in this weird place anyway thinking it would be good because nobody would come and steal the car but instead we've got a 32 pound fine so it costs us quite a bit to see this film but anyway um this looks stunning on 4k haven't watched it yet but it's definitely high on the list to watch as is maybe my favorite one of these ones is batman returns my wife likes these films but she doesn't like the fact of um penguin has always got black bile coming out of his mouth and it puts her off watching this film so i've have asked, asked her if she wants to watch these films one night and i'm sure she says at this moment she's not that bothered so i might have to just watch these by myself i do like to watch these with my wife i do like to see what impression she gets of these films as well to see if she as a lay person said that the stunning the picture quality is stunning which it does on some of these films so <clears throat> don't hate but because now this is more a nostalgia thing because at this point uh we me and my wife had watched these films and then this is the time when my son started watching batman and he's a big fan of batman to this day and um, and we watched this with him constantly you know when you've got a young kid and he just wants to watch the same thing day in and day out so i know these films off by heart so i couldn't not get them even though these two and funny enough my wife likes the last one the best which is strange but um this one here it's not, it's not a bad movie I, I do like it but out of the whole four i think this has got the best picture quality believe it or not it looks absolutely stunning so speaking of the worst batman ever made yeah <laughs> strangely enough i don't mind it it has a lot of nostalgia for me because it made me so used to sit down and watch this film on a loop well these two films on a loop and um, he used to know everything about them and used to get a lot off of them so I can sit through the I've sat, sat through them that many times I can sit through them again I don't mind them but I do realize that this film is cut to be um I don't know I don't know what it is about it George Clooney on paper should have been an amazing Batman and he just wasn't but anyway it is what it is but the picture quality in here is quite good although it doesn't look as good as the Batman Forever do you think now this is my thing that I keep saying about this this is Batman 3 you could say and this is Batman 4 don't you think they would have put this one as part four batman four ever just a thing and also batman and robin well robin came in in this one so do you think they should have swapped the titles over since they're kind of made made by the same fella never mind that's just my little observation on the world of batman but they're not everyone's favorite the last two aren't everyone's favorite uh, titles but for me i just went and said well I'm going to get the whole lot of them and then it is what it is 
The next one is a film that was a strange one because I did have on DVD, never watched it. I did have it on Blu-ray, never watched it. And they've been sold and put into CEX for probably one penny. So when it came on 4K, I thought, well, I'll get it this time and I will watch it because everybody goes on about it and I just, I don't know why. I've never been interested in it, although I'm a big fan of the director and the writer's work. And it is The Big Lebowski. So I watched it and I thought it was brilliant. It, I don't know why it didn't, I just didn't, I don't know. I don't know why it didn't want to connect with me, but everything about this film is a, is a joy. And the, the picture quality on it isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more colourful, it's a bit more muted, a bit more brownie. But that being said, the film itself is an absolute gem and well worth watching. Is it worth getting on 4K? Not too sure, but if you get it cheap, then I would say yes. But it's really one of them films that you put to one side and you think, nah. And then you get it and you think, wow, I've really missed out on that one. The next one is another film that when I first watched it back in the day, and I watched it, not at the cinema, but I watched it on uh, VHS when it came out in the video shops, and I didn't like it, mainly because it was so dark, couldn't see what was going on, didn't connect with it at all, and it is Blade Runner. Now, through the, I think this film has had about 300 cuts of it so far, and this is the, f the final cut, up until the final cut part two comes out. Now, I think I watched it on Bl on Blu-ray recently-ish and thought, well, it's not a bad film. I don't mind it. Rutger Hoa stood out to me. But when I watched it on this time and I actually sat down and paid ultra attention to it, I did realise it was a really good film. I wouldn't say it's my best, the best film. I wouldn't say it's the film that everybody raves about personally. I wouldn't rave about it, the content, but the picture quality is stunning for the, the age. And also, Rucker Hoa, his performance in that is, is great. And it, it is a good film. It, it's one that I can't sit and watch. But it's another one like Big Lebowski. I put up for that long length of time that I might have just thought, pushed, pushed it by and thought, nah. So, <clears throat> the next film is another one I saw on Sky Movies and thought that would look really good on 4K. And I did at first think it was rubbish. And then, strangely enough, it came back into my sort of mindset to think well it, it wasn't that bad i did buy it on originally on 4k but then when i saw hmv were doing a sale of the special edition for 17.99 i immediately bought it <clears throat> and it is blade runner 2049 now my estimation strangely enough of this film now is i probably like it better than blade runner although i have to revisit this i keep trying to get my wife to watch this but she is at this point she is saying no she's got no interest in it she had no interest in in Blade Runner even though she's a big fan of Harrison Ford um, but this set here is absolutely stunning I have checked the picture quality out in it and it, it, it is jaw dropping so I am dying to get back to this film when I have to set about three hours apart from it and hopefully my wife will watch it with me because I would like to see her reactions to this film but excuse me it's a lot more it's a much better than i originally thought it was and i do think personally it is better than blade runner don't hate me now these next ones you'll have seen these i'll not go spend too much time on these ones you'll have seen these on on videos that i've done the reason why they're coming up now is because i've got that many of this this um this um, director and also this company I thought well I put them together and there was another one there that is a kind of a bit of a borderline not video nasty but a video um, an old um, title boutique sort of title boutique labels so I thought right I'll put them all together under B because these are, this is all B at the moment and B for Blue Underground so I have done separate videos for these which I'll post down below so you can see the reviews that I do of them but basically across the board you can see amazing so the first one is zombie uh, absolutely stunning it's a it's a great film it's a must-have for me the next one is house by the cemetery which is uh, i'm putting these in chronological order of when they came out so that's 1980 this is 1981 uh, really impressed by that one that one blew me away on this on this watch strangely enough next one is the new york new york river and uh Great picture quality, but not as good as uh, House by the Cemetery. But uh, it's still an essential buy for me. Next one is Maniac. Now, this was originally filmed on 16mm, but it's been 
this is a 4K scan from the original 16mm negatives and it does look the best it's ever going to look, although it doesn't look as good as those on 35mm. Speaking of films that look beautiful, as soon as this one was talked about and it was talked about to get released, uh, I went and bought it straight away. It is a Synapse version. The Synapse, when they, when they redid this, went back to the original negatives, they had done everything they should have done with this film because it is so colourful and so such a joy to watch that it had to be done in that way. And some of the ones that have been put out in 4K just weren't the real deal, but this one is the, is the real deal. So the Synapse 4K of Suspiria is quite untouchable, especially on colours as well. So for me, um, it's a no, it's a no-brainer to buy this one. But this is why I put these together because they're kind of from the same ilk, if that's even a thing. The next one is is one I got because of my love for robots and robotic type of things, and it was very cheap on eBay. And it is Chappie. I wouldn't say the film's that great. The actual the robot Chappie is amazing, and it just looks so real, even though it's not obviously. Uh, the story is a bit lackluster, and it features strangely enough. Uh, there's a band from, I'm going to say Norway or Sweden, that area, called uh, Die Antwood, I think they're called. And they do some crazy music videos. And uh, I might actually link one down below so you can see them. I don't know if I think I'll be a fan of their music, but the, the vi music videos are just unreal. Um, they are in this film as well. And um, I don't know, it's all right, but it kind of misses, it misses something. I was thinking about selling it, but I'm going to keep it because I did want to revisit it again to see if it's one I will keep but if these films don't even though I get them and I think right I want this has got a good picture quality I want to get into it and see what it's all about if the film was amazing but the picture quality was rubbish um sorry if the picture quality was amazing but the film was rubbish then it would be getting sold or if I didn't like it there's no point in keeping it that's my that's my mindset with 4k but it's watchable I suppose but it's not what it's not as good as I thought it was going to be now the next one is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I remember seeing this when it came out. I think I even saw the pictures. Didn't understand it at all. I saw it far too young to actually understand it. I know this has been a sort of a different release that does explain what goes on a little bit better. It still doesn't really explain everything to me. I haven't watched it on 4K yet. It was just one of the ones that I bought, you know, two for 15, two for 30 pound. I thought, well, I'll get that one as well. Um, it's not one, it's one I've had in every single format but I don't revisit it very often at all. In fact, I wouldn't say it's a film that I do recommend at all. It's it's a it's a bit of a it's a funny watch. It's it's a one that I would watch, but I wouldn't I'm not saying I wouldn't enjoy, but I don't think I get out of it as much as I think we could have got out of it if it was made a little bit better, even though it was directed by Spielberg just after Joe, so it should have been phenomenal. It just it's okay, but there's just something about it that just doesn't connect with me fully, which is a bit of a shame. I speak to something that looks good and it doesn't connect with us. Deepwater Horizon, I got this and it was dead cheap, it was only about £5 from eBay. I had heard the picture quality was stunning, that's why I bought it. And it's okay, it does, it's a bit more like a documentary. And also the, the people when they talk about these, um, they're talking about all this electrical stuff and things you shouldn't push this button and they've got to do this because of that concrete, all this. It's dead technical and to me you've got to have a degree in I don't know, seism seismology, if that's a thing, to say, to understand this film. But it's more a documentary feel that's done because this is a real life accident that happened and it's a catastrophic event. And I did like it, but even me and my wife looked at each other at the end of it and just thought, well, it was all right. I don't know why I'm still keeping it. I might get rid of it, I don't know. But the picture quality on the oil rig and the sort of special effects on the oil rig are stunning. So maybe that's the reason why I've got it. I might revisit it again, but I don't know. So the last one, I'm going to leave it at D because we're up at 23 minutes and um, I'll start at E on my next one. Uh, this last one, I haven't watched it, but I've watched little bits of it and it looks absolutely amazing. It is Dunkirk. It's a Christopher Nolan film, so you should be getting something good out of it, which obviously his most of his films do have some element of uh, amazingness to it, if that's a word. And uh, yeah. I do want to watch it. I don't think it's a too too long a film. It's just one of them ones where you, you, you think of a film you're going to watch and it hasn't come up yet, but it's on the list to watch. And um, the picture quality, like I say, it does look really good in it, especially the outdoor scenes and the, the water, uh, planes crashing into the water, all that type of thing. And it obviously comes from a, um, a really important point in history as well. So I do want to see it for that reason. I like, 
I wouldn't say I'm a fan of war films, but I like stuff to do with the war, and that's contradicting itself. But I do think that um, these um, these movies done well are really a really good watch. It's funny with these films as well, like say like Saving Private Ryan is a good, well done film, but I don't find the need to ever watch it again. I've watched it once, and that does me, and I don't know why that is for war films with me. Maybe just my, but maybe some really daft Angry Birds too. I can watch that countless times. Go figure. Okay, so that's it for the moment. And the next one, when I do it, the next part, it'll start from E till whenever. Okay, so thanks once again for watching these uh, this video. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Um, it's free and it costs you now, why not? Okay, so I'll see you in the next time. So you take care.